How is it going, everybody? You're watching the Novel Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to make your iPhone faster. And I do mean make it faster, not feel faster, not seem faster, but faster in reality. And this is especially important if your iPhone is a little bit older, maybe several months old or a few years old, and you're starting to feel that it's taking longer to open apps and run things, and maybe it's not as responsive as it used to be. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can really make it faster. So there are actually three main reasons why your iPhone is slow. And reason number one has to do with the memory, and I'm talking about RAM memory. So let me show you how you can work with that. All you have to do is open up the App Store, and then tap on Search, and then here we're gonna go and search for CPU space X. So CPU space X, as you can see right here, let it load. And as you can see here, we have this application right here. Of course, I'm gonna have a direct link in the description. So as you tap on it, it's gonna open up this page. So there are no confusions. All you have to do is download CPU X and no worries because it's a free application. There are in-app purchases, but for what we want, it's 100% free. Okay, now that we're done, we can actually go ahead and open up CPU X. And as you can see here, it's a very complete application that will show you a bunch of information related to your iPhone, a bunch of parameters. It can run a bunch of diagnostics as well, but that's not what we want. What we want is here, the memory. And as you can see, this is memory I'm talking about right now, not storage. We're gonna talk about storage in a second, and we're talking about RAM memory. So as you can see, this iPhone 14 Pro has six gigs of memory, and as we tap here on memory, as you can see, I'm always using all of my memory. So 97.8% of my RAM memory is being used at the moment. And as you can imagine, the more of your RAM memory is used, the slower your iPhone will feel. Because if you're using pretty much all of your RAM memory, it means that your iPhone can't store anymore. It can't take any more new information, therefore it'll start to feel slow, it'll start closing out apps in the background, and it'll have a hard time opening up new apps, therefore it'll give you a bad experience, and this will make your iPhone very, very slow. So, what we can do? We can free up or RAM memory using this app, and this is super, super easy. All you have to do is tap on free up. It's gonna optimize the memory, and in a few seconds, as you can see, it just freed up 896 megabytes. So that's almost a gigabyte of RAM memory that's being freed up. So as you can see, it comes back to 84%, and just on this, just on those few seconds, you'll feel that your iPhone is faster, more responsive, and apps will run much, much more smoothly just because we have freed up excessive RAM memory that was stored on our iPhone for no reason. Keep in mind that CPU X will just clear unused and unnecessary RAM memory. This is super safe, okay guys? Now, please keep in mind that this is not a permanent fix. As you're using your iPhone and opening up apps again and using your iPhone normally, your RAM memory will go back up and will get back next to 100%. This is a normal thing here on the iPhone because there is not a lot of RAM memory on the iPhone, but this is a temporary fix. This will make your iPhone faster, temporarily of course, but it'll make your iPhone faster. So every time that you feel that your iPhone is low, you can go ahead, open up CPUX and repeat the process. But as I mentioned, there are actually three things that make your iPhone feel slow. This is number one. Let's go to number two. And it actually has to do with your battery. So if you tap on settings, scroll down and tap on battery, and then the famous battery health and charging, we'll see here the maximum capacity. And this is very, very important because the lower this number is, the slower your iPhone will be. Because if your battery maximum capacity is close to 80% or even below 80%, you'll definitely feel that your iPhone is slow. You definitely feel some CPU throttling. This is how it works. Apple does it, it's a common thing. So if you have an old iPhone with an old battery, you'll definitely feel that your performance won't be as good as it was when it was new. And a lot of it has to do with this situation. So unfortunately, we can't fix an old battery through a trick here on iOS or anything like that. It's a physical thing. So if your battery is old, the only way to fix it is to actually replace the battery. But of course, it's important that you know that an old battery 
does affect your speed, your performance, and makes your iPhone slow. And now let's move on to the last thing, the third thing that actually makes your iPhone slow. It has to do with storage. Now we're talking about storage. So right here on our settings, you can scroll down, tap on general, and then iPhone storage, let it load. And sometimes this takes ages for some reason, Apple just can't fix this. So let's wait until it does its thing. And as you can see here, this is my iPhone storage. And as I mentioned, storage plays a very important role when you're talking about a slow iPhone, because if your storage is full or very close to full, your iPhone will be slow and your experience will be very, very bad. Some apps won't even open and others will open super, super slow. And this is a common thing if you have a full storage. And my recommendation here is to actually go ahead and take a look at your apps and take a look of your files and see what's actually using all of that storage. Of course, if you have a full storage, right? And you need to clear it. So go ahead, take a look and sometimes you have very large apps, like for example, games that you don't use, go ahead and delete them very easily. You're gonna clear a ton of storage and so on and so on. And as you can see here in my reality on my iPhone, you can see that I have quite a lot of free storage. And the main reason why I have this is because of a trick related to my photos. Because as you can see, my photos are only taking up 13 gigabytes of my overall storage. And this is really, really low if you consider that I have over 22,000 photos and over 2,500 videos. So how is that possible to have so many photos, so many videos, and just 13 gigabytes taken up of my iPhone storage? And that's because of a tip I use that has to do with iCloud Photos that I do recommend that you use right now on your iPhone. So all you have to do is actually come back here on your settings, go all the way up, tap on your Apple ID banner, then iCloud, then Photos, as you guys can see right here, and then enable iCloud Photos. As you can see right here, iCloud Photos enable this feature and then enable optimize iPhone storage because what this will do is it'll get all of your photos, all of your videos, and then it'll upload to iCloud and then it'll save storage, local storage on your iPhone because it'll keep the original files, the large files in iCloud and miniatures on your iPhone. So this is a very, very awesome little trick that I do use for many, many years and this is a great way to save local storage on your iPhone. So that's how you make your iPhone faster. You clear the RAM memory, you take a look, you manage your battery, and of course, you clear local storage on your iPhone. By doing those three important things, you'll make your iPhone so, so, so much faster. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye, guys.